There is a place known worldwide for its diverse landscapes, unique ecosystems, and natural resources. A place offering unmatched recreational, agricultural, and economic opportunities. To sustain these many natural treasures, there is a single key element that must be preserved, managed, and respectfully guided to promote sustainable growth and provide future generations with the prosperity that nature has intended. This place is Utah, and healthy watersheds are its foundation. A watershed is more than just a spot where water converges. It's the lifeblood of the landscape, sustaining the animals and people who depend upon it. Keeping our watersheds healthy is vital. Restoration projects maintain water quality and yield while enhancing the overall health and sustainability of important areas. The Utah Watershed Restoration Initiative, known as WRI, is a partnership-based program in Utah to improve high-priority watersheds throughout the state. There are many challenges we must face, including the reduction of invasive plant species, limiting destructive fires, reversing aspen forest decline, and restoring degraded streams. Understanding natural processes while managing and restoring these watersheds is vital and it's a challenge that we all must accept to preserve our resources for future generations. One of the unique problems WRI faces is aggressive conifer growth. Two plant species in particular, pinyon pine and Utah juniper, reproduce at an incredible rate and cover vast amounts of land. The expansive root systems of these conifers absorb large amounts of water, displacing the grasses, flowering plants, and shrubs native to the area. If left untreated, these plants can degrade wildlife habitat and livestock forage to the point where they are unusable. It's a problem that has repercussions for mule deer, sage grouse, and many other species. With a decrease in habitat quality, population numbers of these species can decline, leading to diminished and sometimes dangerously low population numbers in untreated regions. The WRI partners rejuvenate damaged watersheds and promote positive changes to reduce future problems. The cornerstone of these solutions relies on certain types of projects. The bullhog technique utilizes a track hoe or front end loader fitted with a heavy duty grinder that can effectively and quickly remove large areas of pinyon pine and juniper. By grinding to the stumps, this process prevents regrowth while the chips and remains of this process aid in native plants and sagebrush growth after treatment. The chaining process utilizes a very heavy steel chain attached to two bulldozers. As the bulldozers drive side by side, the pinions and junipers are uprooted and pulled out of the ground to prevent growth and spread. Seed can be flown in on or before treatment so the soil disturbed by the chain helps cover the seed. The lop and scatter method utilizes a group of workers with chainsaws who strategically down the pinion and juniper at the base to prevent regrowth. The remnants are cut into smaller pieces and spread to promote growth of native plants and sagebrush. Lop and scatter is used on earlier stages of conifer encroachment and usually does not require seeding. Stream and riparian restoration is another important part of WRI. Invasive plant life, effects of wildfires and undesirable erosion can affect flow or even permanently halt a stream system. This can lead to low water quality and yield fish and wildlife habitat destruction, as well as irreparable changes to the overall watershed itself. WRI projects restore natural processes to streams and the surrounding riparian areas. Wildfires can have a devastating impact to Utah's watersheds. Wildland areas negatively impacted by fire are a top WRI priority. If rehabilitation efforts are not aggressively pursued soon after a fire, the watershed will quickly become unhealthy with invasive weeds like cheatgrass dominating and contributing to increased sedimentation downstream. Wildfire rehabilitation can diminish the short-term impact and long-term effects that fires can have on watersheds. Aspen forests are known for their unique beauty and are an iconic part of Utah's natural treasures. However, if not managed correctly, aspen forests will be outcompeted and eliminated by aggressive conifer growth. Through the proper management and rehabilitation strategies, WRI works to preserve these areas and prevent the loss of aspen forests across the state. Today, WRI is approaching 1.5 million acres of watersheds treated. 
partners and agencies working together with the understanding that rangeland ecosystems are dynamic and that the processes they are engaged in are not only necessary, but vital to the future of our state's natural resources. Your support for Utah's WRI helps us maintain Utah for future generations. WRI offers opportunities for long-term and sustainable uses of Utah's natural resources, which is something we all need to stand behind.